safe ride or sinister threat a new x-ray on car seats for kids are toxic chemicals putting your child at risk plus car seats save lives but is the one that your child is riding in made of toxic chemicals new test to show you live in our studio this morning and are your kids being exposed to toxic chemicals in their car seats there are new tests to show you and we're going to do some live in the studio before you strap your kids in and hit the road. How concerned should we be about this? We'll talk about it coming up on American Morning. And a car seat is supposed to keep your little ones safe, but could the material it's made out of be toxic? We'll show you a special portable x-ray machine that seeks out the chemicals inside. You're watching American Morning. The most news in the morning is on CNN. Welcome back to American Morning. How safe is your child's car seat? Not in a crash, that's what you thought you had to think about the most, right? But actually based on chemicals used to make that car seat. A Michigan-based environmental group tested 60 new infant and toddler car seats and found that your children may be being exposed to dangerous levels of chemicals like chlorine and, and even lead. This is the first ever ranking of toxic chemicals in child car seats. CNN made several attempts to contact the different manufacturers to ask about this. We are uh, looking into that. We did not get a response yet, though. Jeff Gearhart is the man who conducted this study. He's the Clean Car Campaign Director at the Ecology Center and joins me live. Thanks for being with us. Thank you very much for having us here. Now, you brought with you a gadget that's going to sort of explain uh, for me and our viewers how you go about doing this testing. Yes, and I wanted to make one point right off the bat is that we encourage, as a parent of two, two boys, I encourage everyone to use car seats. Uh, they're a safety product and people need to use them uh, regardless of what these test results are. Okay. This is an XRF instrument which will x-ray the material and will tell us the elemental composition of the material. Okay, so let's go for it. So we'll Show test us how you do seat. the first one. This is a Peg Perigo convert uh, infant car seat actually. And we'll place the XRF on uh, the material, and within about 10 seconds, we will get a result, which <clears throat> we can show. Yeah, we'll get a look at look at it we'll on the screen. Um, and go ahead and tell us what the, what the numbers okay. all mean what, there. What this is what this shows, which is a bit difficult to see, is that we have a high reading for bromine, which indicates the presence of brominated flame retardants, which are one of the chemicals we're very concerned about building up in, in children's bodies. Okay, now the, the rankings, and what did this get? Between zero and five, zero being lowest concern, meaning you want yours to be closer to zero, five being the one that has the highest concern. How Correct. did this one do? This was the second worst infant seat that we tested. Um, there was one seat worse than this. Um, I believe it got about a four um, on our ratings. All right, let's do um, the one that turned out the best, actually. Yeah, so this, we have another the, seat. Uh, this Graco. is the Graco Snug Ride seat. Um, we can also run a test here. Um, uh, one of the issues in terms of putting this in context that I mentioned to you before is uh, while I was waiting in the green room, we actually tested the TV and some other products in there, and we actually found high levels of lead and bromine in those as well. And part of the issue is these chemicals are ubiquitous. They're in many different products. So children's exposure in car seats is part of an overall exposure they have. And, uh, and that's our main concern. And why is it of, uh, of, of greater concern? We talked a little bit about how long children are in car seats yes. and also whether or not these chemicals, when sitting in a heated car, the sun bakes in, may actually be released. That's correct. Uh, and, and children are particularly, um, this seat tested quite a bit cleaner. Uh, this, this seat had uh, about 4,000 ppm bromine. This one was down to 400. Okay, what, between um, zero and five on the ranking? This zero seat being ranked the best? very well. It was in the, uh, I think it was about 1.0 okay. uh, was the rating for this seat. And uh, we, we, get, we sort of get the picture, so we'll just tell people about this one. This is the, the bigger seat. This, that was it for little babies, and this they call it the convertible because toddlers can yeah. sit in it as well. This is the Costco Sinara, and you said this one did pretty well. This was one of our best rated seats. It's one of the more affordable seats. Price didn't have a difference. This is about a $40 seat. Why are these and tested chemicals very in car clean. seats? Well, this is a great example of why we don't need these chemicals. We can make safe car seats that meet all flame retardancy requirements without using these chemicals. So uh, we're encouraging the manufacturers to uh, aggressively work with their suppliers to get these chemicals out of the products. And is there anything that speeds up the release of the chemicals? 
Well, these chemicals uh, evaporate and are on dust, and uh, heat can, can accelerate the release of these chemicals as well. Can people do things like keep their uh, cars in, a, in cool areas and, 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 and try to vacuum the we seats? We do more recommend that, that people keep their cars in cool areas. Uh, ultimately, we encourage people to use the car seat for transporting their kid in the car, not using it as a, a, a place for the child to sleep or for other purposes. Minimize the time. If you have a car seat that tests poorly, minimize the time the, the child spends in the seat. All right. Jeff Gearhart, uh, bringing our attention to something, and we appreciate it. Uh, thanks for being with us. Thank you also, very much. we want to let you know that CNN did reach out to the manufacturers of the car seats for comment. We have not gotten any responses yet, but when we do, we'll bring them to you. And you can also find the results from the Ecology Center's study on their website, which is healthycar.org.